Good day mga ka-solved math likeables. So for today's video, pag-usapan natin o tuturo ko sa inyo kung paano bakunin ang standard and general form of equation of an ellipse, of an ellipse. Let's start. So here is an example of the graph of an ellipse. Yeah. So, siyempre, ellipse is a set of all points such that the sum of their distances from two fixed points is a constant. So, each point is called a focus. Ang plural natin ng focus ay foci kasi nga ang ellipse ay mayroong dalawang focus. Now, kung papapansin nyo yung green part, ito, this is the focus yung green dots. So, la ang focus ay laging nasa loob ng ellipse. And then, we have the major and the minor axis. Yung major axis natin, ito po yung axis na kung saan dinadaanan yung vertex natin. Tapos, yung pula, yung red na nakasulat. And then, yung minor axis natin, yun naman yung axis na dinadaanan yung co-vertices na dinatawag. Okay, yung minor axis, yung maliit lang siyang axis. And then, yung major axis, syempre yung mahabang axis. And then, we have the center o yung middle point ng foci natin. And then, yung vertices and then yung co-vertices natin. Yun yung parang intersection ng mga yon, nung tatlong pares na yun. So that's an ellipse. Now, si ellipse, eh, merong horizontal ellipse, and then meron din naman tayong tinatawag na vertical ellipse. So, nakadepende kung paano natin kukunin ng equation. So, let's start. Now, this is the graph or the table on the summary of the equation of ellipse. So, dito sa second column is a horizontal ellipse. Na, alam naman natin, kapag horizontal, ibig sabihin, um, ang mahabang axis ay nakahiga. So, automatic, iisipin nyo na ang pinaka um, tatandaan nyo is yung A squared, siya yung nagre-represent ng vertices natin, dapat na dun siya sa ilalim ng X squared. Yun yung equation. Yun lang yung pinakatatandaan nyo. Kasi kapag vertical yung ellipse natin, since ang vertical ay ayan pa tayo, so ibig sabihin yung A squared natin nasa ilalim ng Y squared. And then always equal to 1 lang. Kasi yung vertices natin, since horizontal ellipse, ang may value yung A, positive and negative. Tapos, kapag vertical, ang may value yung Y. Ganun lang yon Same with foci. Ang may value natin yung X value. And then, sa vertical ellipse, ang may value natin yung Y. And then, kapag co-vertices, since co-vertices, ito yung parang hiwalay dun sa vertices and foci. So, kung X dito, sa co-vertices mo, yung Y yung may value. Since ano siya, perpendicular siya sa vertices, and then sa uh, and then dun sa co-vertices okay perpendicular yung dalawa okay so let's then note that the length of the major axis is okay okay kasi di pa syempre yung isang act ano lang natin kalahati is a so yung buong axis is 2a okay so let's start what is the standard and general form of the ellipse that has vertices at 0 comma positive and negative 3 and foci at 0 comma positive 2 and negative so, dito mapapansin lang agad natin, ganito lang. Kapag nakita nyo na yung vertices at foci, yung parehas na value, di ba dito x, parehas yan ng x, automatic yung gumagalaw dyan yung y. So, kapag gumagalaw yung y, ang iisipin agad natin is vertical yung ellipse natin. Kasi yung y yung gumagalaw, ganun lang yun, para, malam, para mabilis nyo malaman kung ano yung orientation ng ellipse natin. Now, since vertical yung ellipse, automatic our equation would be um, yung A squared natin is nasa baba ng Y squared. Ganun lang yon. So, kailangan natin malaman yung B squared at saka yung A squared. Kasi yung X squared and Y squared dyan na yun sa equation. Kasi ano naman yun is center at 0, 0. So, uh, lagong tatandaan na yung A natin, siya yung represent ng vertex or vertices, si B, yung co-vertex, and si C, yung focus or yung foci natin. So, from the given, meron na tayong makukuha agad na value ng A. Which is 3. Kasi kung kitingnan natin, di ba, kung igagraph mo yan, x and y axis, 0 ka ma-positive 3, 1, 2, and then 0 ka ma-negative 3. Di ba, ang center natin ay nasa pinakang gitna. So, ang A natin, ito, yung distance from the center to one point in the vertex, o oh, in the vertices. So, meron tayong 3 units. So, A is 3. And then, yung foci natin, siya yung nagre-represent ng C. So, meron na tayong positive 2. Okay. Ang kailangan natin a squared and b squared. So, kung ang a natin ay 3, ang c natin ay 2, kailangan natin hanapin yung b at yung, ang gagawin natin is e squared muna natin to. So, ano ang a squared? Ta-times mo lang sa sarili. 3 times 3 and that's 9. So, ito yung a squared. Ano naman yung c squared natin? 4. Bakit? Kasi 2 times 2. Ayan. 
So, paano natin kukunin ang B? Ang formula po ng pagkuha ng B is B squared is equal to um, A squared minus C squared. So, laging mauuna yung mataas, yung A squared. Laging mataas yung A squared ha, huwag kakalimut. So, B squared is equal to, ano ba yung A squared natin? 9. Ano ba yung C squared natin? 4. Ang sagot, 5. Hindi na natin kailangan kunin ng square root kasi um, squared naman yung natin to. So, dahil meron na tayong B squared, meron na tayong A squared, pwede natin kukunin ang standard form. Ang standard form natin is X squared over, ano ba yung B squared natin? 5. Plus Y squared is equal to, ay sorry, over, ano ba yung A squared natin? 9 is equal to 1. So, this is now our standard form. Paano naman natin kukunin ng general form? Pagkuha ng general form, ganito lang yan. I-multiply lang natin both sides by the LCD of, syempre, of 5 and 9. So, ang gawin na lang natin is, kunin na lang natin, i-multiply na lang natin yung dalawa. Yun ano yung gawin natin LCD. Yan. So, magiging x squared over 5 plus y squared over 9 is equal to 1. Then, multiply natin sa product ng 5 and 9 and or 45. Yan. So, magiging, ito pag 5 times 9 din, ang magiging ano natin dyan, para mas simple lang, syempre, 5 in 9, then divided by 5. Cancel na lang natin yung 5. So, magiging 9x squared, plus dito, ang makakancel yung 9, so ang matitira is yung 5. 5y squared is equal to, yung product ng 5 in 9 is 45. Then, ilipat natin dun sa left side. So, magiging 9x squared plus 5, y squared minus 45 is equal to 0. This is now the general form. Okay? Next. What's the standard and general form of the ellipse that has vertices at 5, positive 5 and negative 5, comma 0, and cosi at 1, positive 1 and negative 1, comma 0? So, dito, ang gumagalaw natin yung x natin. So, automatic, yung a natin ay nasa x squared. Ganun lang yon. Kung ano yung gumagalaw, kasi pareha siya na 0 yung y. And so, automatic, um, horizontal yung ellipse natin. So, gawin lang natin, um, kunin lang natin, since vertices to, so, ang a natin is equal to 5. Ayan nyo. Ang cosi natin ay C, so C is equal to 1. So, kukunin natin yung B squared, so magiging B, ah, sorry, kukunin mo lang natin yung E squared. E squared is equal to 25, kasi ta 5 times 5, then C squared is equal to 1, kasi 1 times 1. Dito, 5 times 5. So, B squared is equal to 25 minus 1, which nag-track lang natin to at saka ito. So, B squared is equal to 24. So, meron na tayong B squared. Our standard form would be X squared over ano yung A squared natin? 25 plus Y squared over 24 is equal to 1. So, ano pa ang ating general form? Um, pag minultiply natin yan, this is your standard form. Pag minultiply natin yan sa LCD na or product ng denominators natin, 25 and 24. So, ito ay magiging 24X squared. Parang cross multiply lang yan. Plus, ito naman, 25y squared minus, uh, multiply lang natin ng 25 times 24, so that's 22, 10, and 1, 5. Yan. So, meron tayong 600. Minus 600 is equal to 0. This is your general form. So, that's how you get the standard and general form of the ellipse whose center is at 0, 0. Para naman kapag ang center natin ay wala sa origin or 0, 0. This is your, the summary. This is the summary. Yeah. So, this is summary. Um, natagdagan lang naman ng minus h yung x. At tas, minus k yung y. Pero ganun pa rin naman. Kapag horizontal, yung a squared nasa ilalim niya. Kapag vertical, yung a squared nasa ilalim naman. And then, ito yung vertices. Paplasan mo lang naman yung, yung x dito. Then, yung x sa cosi. Tapos sa y naman yung vertices. Kapag horizontal. So, pa plus plus lang. And minus. Okay, let's start. What is the standard in general form of the ellipse that has vertices at negative 2, comma, negative 8, and negative 2, comma, 2, and foci at negative 2, comma, negative 7, and negative 2, comma, positive 1? So, dito, titinan lang natin kung ano ulit yung gumagalaw. Diba, sa vertices, tignan natin, ano yung pares ng value, yung negative 2, yung x, diba? So, automatic, ang gumagalaw natin yung y. Same dito, hindi naman pwede yung magkahiwalay ang foci and vertices. So, parehas din ang negative 2, Tapos ang gumagalaw yung y, automatic, ang ellipse natin is vertical. Ganun lang yung kasimple. So, ang equation na gagamitin natin, yung, yung a squared ay nasa baba nung may y. Okay? Yung y minus k squared. So, dito kailangan natin kunin pa ang h and k. Paano natin kinukuha ang h and k? So, first, 
is um, to find the center or h gamma k, use the midpoint formula. Kahit alin dito sa pair ng vertices o ng cosine, makukuha natin yung midpoint formula. Ano lang yung gagawin natin? Pagpaklasin lang natin yung x and x, y and y, then divide 2. So, ganito lang. So, ito, negative 2 plus negative 2, yung x and x, divide 2, automatically divide 2, comma, yung y naman, negative 8 plus positive 2 over 2. So, magiging negative 4 over 2, kasi same sign, kaya i-add natin. Then, ito, mag-iba ng sign, so isusubtract natin, so magiging um, negative 6 over 2. Tapos, i-divide na natin yan, since divisible ang 4 sa 2, at saka yung 6 sa 2, pag dinivide natin, negative 2, kama negative 3. So, yun na yung vertex natin. Ay, I mean, yung center ng 10, yung h and k, negative 2, yung negative 3. So, meron tayong h and k. Ang hahanapin naman natin yung b at saka yung a. So, step 2 is to solve for a. Paano natin isosolve yung a? Di ba si a ay yung vertices? So, focus tayo dito sa vertices natin. Paano natin kukunin? The length of the major axis is 2a. So, ibig sabihin, itong dalawang to, kapag na-point mo siya, yung negative 2 kama negative 3, di ba, na dito siya sa baba, quadrant 3. Ito, nasa quadrant 4. Kapag kinuha mo yung distance niyan, automatic, that's 2a. So, ibig sabihin, isang buong axis kasi yan, major axis. So, get the distance using the coordinates of the vertices. Hindi mo na kailangan kunin yung distance formula. Kunin mo na lang yung gumagalaw, yung y. Di ba, gumagalaw yung y na yung negative 2 at yung positive 2. So, ang gawin mo, kung yung distance, negative 2, then minus ha, absolute value dapat negative 2, minus 2 is equal to negative 10. Tapos, absolute value nun, that's positive 10. So, ibig sabihin, yung major axis natin, ang distance niyan ay 10 units. E di ba, kung kapag nagiging center, so may kalahati lang, i-i lang naman ang kumahanap natin. So, ang i natin is kalahati ng 10, kaya siya naging 5. Okay? Next step is to solve for B. Now, dito, hindi natin masasolve si B kung wala tayong kunin na value ng C. So, kunin muna natin yung C. Okay? So, use the cosi. So, same steps na ginawa natin sa step 2, yung steps natin, or procedure natin, kunin din yung distance natin ng Y. Kasi Y yung gumagalang. So, negative 7 minus 1, ayan, um, is equal to negative 8, yung absolute value, which is 8. So, ibig sabihin, yung cosi natin, ang distance niyan is 8. So, since 2C, dahil talaga nga po, kalangatin din natin, so C is equal to 4. Okay? So, may C na tayo, kukunin na natin ang value ng B. Ito na po yung H and P natin, sinulot ko lang. Then, yung A natin is 5 na nakuha, and then yung C natin is equal to 4. So, to solve for B, B squared, syempre, ang una natin gagawin, di ba, kapatid ng ginawa natin yung kanina, in-squared muna natin yung parehas, which is yung multiply by itself. 5 times 5, then it is 4 times 4. Kaya siya naging 25 and 16. And then, simply subtract, 25 minus 16 is equal to 9. So, meron na tayong B squared, meron tayong H and K, meron na rin tayong A squared. So, makukuha na natin yung standard form. So, this is the standard form. X plus 2 squared, makit plus 2, automatic change mo yung sign nun. So, ito yan, yung H. And then, yung P natin, change din ang sign. And then, yung A squared natin, ayun. And then, yung B squared natin, which is 9. Yun lang yung kailangan mo, H, K, A, and B. Yan yung standard form. Paano naman ngayon kukunin yung general form? So, parang katulad ng ginawa natin kanina. Ayan. So, minultiply natin yung part na to, yung standard form natin by the product of the denominators na 9 and 25. Kaya kung mapapansin nyo, ito naging 25 na lang, parang nagpunas multiply lang, di ba? Ganun yung shortcut. 25 times yung nasa taas and then 9 times yung nasa taas din na y plus 3 minus the product ng 9 and 25 na direct ako na. So, kung isosolve natin, expand natin to Paano natin siya i-expand? So, ang ganito lang gagawin, x squared, times mo lang to sa 2, 2 times 2, so that's 4, plus 4x, tapos after mo i-plus, i-times na 2, times mo naman sa sarili, so plus 4, 2 times 2 ulit. Okay, plus 9 multiplied by y squared, times mo sa 2, yung 3, plus 6y, and then times mo sa sarili, so 3 times 2, that's 6, and then 3 times 3, that's 9, so plus 9, minus the product of 25 and 9 is 2 to 5. Minus 2, 2, 5 is equal to 0. We're not yet done. So, multiply natin itong mga to. So, magiging 25 x squared plus 100x. So, multiply natin sa 25 plus 100. Then, ito naman kapila. 9y squared plus times mo yun, 54y plus 81 minus 2, 2, 5 equal 0. Then, pagsamasamayin na natin. 25 x squared. Then, yung y naman, 9y squared. Tapos yung x plus 100x. Then yung 54 plus 54y 
And then, solve natin yung 100, yung 81, and then yung 2 to 5. So, 100 plus 81, it's 181 minus 2 to 5. So, since yun na yung to, mas mataas yung 2 to 5 at negative siya. So, subtract lang natin. 2 to 5 minus 181, so that's 4, 4, 44. Eh, since negative yung 2 to 5, mas mataas siya, minus 44 is equal to 0. So, this is the general form. Yeah. Next. Ah, yun lang kung papahano yung pagkuha ng general and standard form. So, I hope may nagtutulan kayo ah, dito. So, do not forget to subscribe if you're new to my channel and hit the notification chart. Ayan, so like this video. Thank you.